What's up guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Film Sprinter. Pawn Stars is a reality show film at Rick Harrison's gold and silver pawn shop in Las Vegas. The show features three generations of Harrison's opening their pawn shop and interacting with unexpected guests who are carrying some unique and expensive items. In today's video, we're counting down our top picks for the best deals of Pawn Stars. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Martin Luther King Jr. Vietnam Speech with Autograph The value of any item that has some historical importance gets higher when it is signed, but this item was expensive for various reasons. It was signed by Martin Luther King Jr. and was also a booklet of a speech which he made after coming out against the Vietnam War. This item was confirmed by an expert and was valued around $12,000, which was a pretty big deal for the seller. However, he ended up striking a deal for $10,000. Mary Ford's 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul guitar The Gibson Les Paul is one of the most famous electric guitars in music history and has been used by musicians from all musical genres including classic rock, jazz, country, blues, and heavy metal. It was also the guitar used by Jimmy Page, Slash, Eric Clapton, Gary Moore, Peter Frampton, Pete Townshend, H. Frehley, Joe Perry, and Billy Gibbons. The nephew of Mary Ford, who tied the knot to Les Paul, decided to take Mary's personally owned 1961 Gibson SG Les Paul guitar, which she even used while traveling around the country with Les Paul. When the guitar expert arrived into the shop, he valued it to be around $150,000. After hearing this, a deal was made for $90,000, where both parties walk away in a happy mood. Fabergé Spider Brooch during an episode, a lady brought in a beautiful spider brooch which she had inherited from her grandmother's estate. She had no clue about its value but was thinking closer to $2,000. After analyzing it, it did not take Rick long to figure out that he was carrying something worth more than what she was asking for. So when the seller asked for $2,000, Rick disagreed with her offer with $15,000. After making the deal, she walked away with more money than she could have ever expected on that day. 200 pounds of silver Since 1969, the value of silver has gone up with a few years of extremely high prices. The quick spikes in its value over the past 50 years are associated with various reasons. The episode where a seller comes into the shop pulling around 200 pounds of silver was from 2012, when silver was valued over $31 per ounce. Jeff invested in the silver in 2000 when it was valued closer to $5 per ounce. It doesn't take much to figure out that it was a $15,000 investment in 2000. So when he sold it for $111,000 12 years later, he was happier than ever. 1922 Proof Piece High Relief Dollar Coin Many coin collectors go after this thing, but only very few find it in a good condition. Well, it was also the case for this seller who claimed he won a 1922 proof piece high relief dollar coin in a card game and was looking to earn $20,000 for it. But he was shocked when the expert came in and valued the coin to be worth between $50,000 and $100,000. He made a deal to sell the coin for $80,000, which was four times more than his preferred value. Regret Super Bowl 36 Ring Since he pawned off his 2001 Super Bowl championship ring, Brock William, who is the former New England Patriot defense back, has been vanished away. Well, no one even knows what really happened in his life that forced to make a decision like that. He refused to sell the ring for $15,000 as he only wanted a loan of $2,600 for a few weeks. Well, it has been years and he never came back for it, which means it now belongs to Rick. Seller usually have 90 days to return to buy back their item. Brock Williams continued playing the NFL for a couple of seasons, so one should wonder why he never came back for it. 1951 New York Yankees Autograph Baseball The 1951 New York Yankees was extremely special and not many sports fans recognize its significance. Not only does this team feature six Hall of Famers, but it was Joe DiMaggio's final season and Mickey Mantle's first two. Both of their signatures, along with the rest of their teammates from the 1951 MLB World Championship, New York Yankees, signed this ball where the seller was looking to make a deal. However, even after he had someone verify the autographs, Rick only offered $800 for the ball. The seller could not imagine making that kind of a deal and walked away from the shop. Alright, that's it for today. We will see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.